You just bought strobes and now you need to know how to sync them with your camera. Here's how. Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Sun Lens, we're gonna talk about how to sync your camera with your strobes. There's three basic ways we're gonna talk about today. These are the three that I think are the most practical. There's a myriad of ways to make this happen, all kinds of DIY kinds of tricks and workarounds, but we're gonna talk about the three basic ways to sync your camera with your strobes. So, number one, it's the easiest and probably the most effective with regards to not failing way to sync your strobes with your camera is just simply the cable that came with your strobe, or you can purchase these at B&H or uh, through the, our Amazon affiliate program. These are simply a sink. The sink goes on the side of the camera right here, and now you simply run this all the way over to your strobe, and now when I take a picture, it sinks. The pros are it's extremely reliable. It's the most reliable way to fire your strobes. The cons are that your strobe can only go as far away from your camera as this cable. And then this cable lays on the ground and you got people tripping on it and it's kind of a pain in the butt. And it's very difficult because you can only fire one strobe with it, only one. So number two is using the electronic slaves that are on most strobe heads that are made today. So this power pack here has an electronic slave on the top of it and you can put this over to the slave and this one over to the slave and this one to the slave. And what it's doing is that if it gets a flash of light, that light is collected in this little slave here and it sees the light and it goes, oh, there's a flash. And so it flashes the, straight, the unit that it's connected to. So right now I have my cable to one. When it goes off, it's going to reflect in the electronic eye of the other twos and it's gonna fire all three. Here we go. And there they go, all three went off. So now that's slave mode, but we're still connected to this cable. So what we can do is get rid of this. We're going to now add a strobe to the camera. And we're going to use this to fire the other strobes in our shot. I'm running this on manual because I do not want this to overpower the work that these other three are doing. My goal is that these three are my lighting and this just becomes the trigger that sets my camera. Now the pro of this situation is that what really is positive about this is that I can get this as far away from my set as I want and I can fire it off. The negative or the downside of this is that it does bring the light up on set so that can be sometimes hard to balance and be able to fight with. And secondly is that it's it got to be fairly close. It won't fire these in the light outside. Outside in the bright light becomes the most difficult place to use slaves because the slaves can't see a change in light because it's already so bright out there. They don't respond to that. So they need a darker area. Great inside, great on set, great when you're working in somebody's house, but not great when you're working outside. So number three, some kind of a radio slave. There's a lot of companies that make these. There's radio poppers, there's pocket wizards, there's pee pee pop a pop a po. You know, there's all kinds of stuff out there, I'm sure. Uh, and these are fabulous and because they conquer most of the problems. The disadvantage of these is cost. The first two methods we talked about are very, very inexpensive. Even if you had to buy a small strobe to put on your camera, you can get those things for $30 online, you know, but these become an expense per unit that you have to purchase, but they overcome the issues of being outside because this will fire your strobes, Outside, they'll fire strobes a long ways away. So I simply put this on my camera. So this becomes a master. This is going to send a signal out that's going to fire my strobes. Uh, with the dyna lights and pocket wizard, the pocket wizard's already built into the dyna light. If you don't have that, you're going to need to get a B unit that you hook up with a cable to your strobe or to your monoblock. So you have your A unit on the camera, B unit, at the power source, the monoblock or the, or the power or the pack. When I hit this, I sync all three of these. I have two of them that are syncing by radio slaves and the last one is syncing by the electronic eye or the slave on the monoblock. Now, like I say, there are some very inexpensive options out there that really give you a great product. It's just how far away do they work and reliably how far away can you get them? Some are radio, uh, some are infrared. I mean, there's several different things out on the market today. So there's the three main ways to be able to sync your camera with your strobes. But now let's take a look at my strobe cable emergency kit. So this is my syncing emergency kit. What I have in here is all of the stuff that I need to be able to sync with anything that I may ever need to sync to. 
It's neatly organized, so we know exactly what is there, exactly what we have. But if I were to take and get rid of all of this, this is what you really need. I have a mini jack to strobe sync. I have a Edison to strobe sync. And I have the quarter inch to strobe sync. There's your three major ways you sync with strobes. You've got your mini, your quarter, and Edison. Edison's not used that much anymore, but it used to be used on Speedatron strobes. There are some out there still. So each of these have the end that go into the sync port on your camera. Then when I start using radio slaves, which I do, probably most of the things that we do are done with radio slaves. It's a more expensive way to go, but it's what we use constantly. So my radio slave syncs with a mini in the back, but now I've got to be able to adapt that to whatever strobe platform. So I've got a, a mini cable, mini to mini, and then I've got an adapter that goes to quarter, and that will fire the strobes as well. So now I don't have to buy two different cables, but I've got the mini and I've got an adapter, and that gives me the ability to uh, sync with both of those different platforms. I get stereo cables. You don't have to have stereo. You can run this on mono, but I get stereo cables because I can use them in audio uh, applications and other applications as well, so you just as well have stereo. But then, of course, I always have the cable that gives me the mini jack to the Edison, just in case I want to be able to run my radio slaves with an older platform like the Speedatrons. So there are absolutely other strobes out there that are going to have a proprietary way to attach the cable to the back of the strobe. They all go back to that same adapter to the camera because that's standard on the cameras. And so you may need to look at something that's going to adapt itself to your strobe. But these are the three major ones that you'll work with with most of the things you're going to, to encounter in the United States. You might think to yourself, well, I'm not gonna have any other strobe platforms because I just use certain ones. I've been on location and decided, you know what, we better rent a strobe and we're in some little town and the only thing we can find is, and you don't have the cable. So I carry these cables with me always so I can adapt myself to any of the different platforms that are out there. Also, if you check out our Mastering Studio strobes, we go into great detail about the different types of strobes and how you sync with each of them and how you can use them effectively in lighting setups as well as just the technical ways to use your strobe equipment. So get out there, check out that uh, Mastery Studio strobes over at thesslamlens.com. So there's a look at cables, and what will keep you from having a problem when you're on set. Sync those strobes and make some great images. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Don't forget to subscribe to The Slamlands. Like us on Facebook. Tell your mother about us. Tell your mother's mother about us.